The following segment is sponsored in part by BASF. We create chemistry. You know what we take for granted? Color. In nature, color just shows up. Roses are red, violets are blue, hair is salt and pepper. But most of the colors in our world have to be created with pigments. Cars, paint, plastics, fabrics. Yeah, I know it's a shocker, but yes, there are pigments in a blanket. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. First of all, just what is a pigment? It's a material that changes the color of reflected or transmitted light. For example, chlorophyll is a pigment that gives plants a green color. Natural pigments are found in minerals, and flowers, and even in skin. But synthetic pigments can be created in a lab to give color to man-made paints and coatings. One of the largest innovators of pigments and color creation is our sponsor, BASF. With labs in over 80 countries, BASF is dedicated to creating chemistry for a sustainable future. I visited two of their labs to better understand how pigments are used to expand the palette of colors and luminance we see in everyday products. The role of pigments, they need to be durable. They need to stay the same color over time. And the color is important because it's an identifier. When you see a tractor in the field that's green, you know what kind of tractor that is. That same tractor's been that green for over 100 years. The synthetic pigments BASF creates leads to thousands of different color variations. This is actually called quinacridone, and it's a violet color. And what we might do to create a red color is tweak this molecule a little bit. So say this, this hydrogen right here, we take off and we add a carbon methyl group to it. Huh. And then this hydrogen over here, take that off. And essentially, we just tweaked it a little bit, and now this is a red color. BASF engineers pigments that do more than radiate colors. They play a key role in formulations to hide other coatings. And in functional coatings like exterior paints, they not only come in hundreds of colors, they also reflect the sun's infrared rays, keeping surfaces cooler. We tested two painted panels, one panel was coated with infrared reflective paint. We have 120, and then this one, we 134. Ow! That's so, a big difference. Yeah, that's, you know, 14 degrees, and you can really tell the difference as you're walking up across your patio. Getting the ideas to create new colors is a detailed process. Paul Cherney and his team develop mood boards that define color, texture, depth, and sparkle, which they then try to recreate in paintings and coatings. So we picked out a couple of very, very nice fabrics, um, a very smooth velvety fabric. So we want to find out how we can get a velvety look into a color. So we have a very unique color here that in one lighting condition is a blue that is very unpretentious. It's very optimistic, but under a nice sunny day, you'll see a little bit of a dancing, a little bit of that velvety look that comes from the effect pigments. And you're getting actually two colors in one here because depending on the mood of mother nature, you can have either a subdued color or you can have a very dazzling, nice, sparkly, optimistic color. Pigments like these can be mixed together to create new colors that help us identify products and brands. What role does color play in evoking an emotional response from consumers? So it can play a number of different roles. So when you think about it, you know, there's a big move towards health and wellness these days. So a lot of the, the greens, the yellows, and the browns tend to do this. You can do a lot of different things with these colors, if it may be a more matte appearance or a glossier appearance, that are really trying to speak to the consumer as far as what, what the product stands for, what the product means, what it might contain, and so on. These thousands of colors all require names, of course. Here's one, Drama Queen. So how does Drama Queen look on me? What, what does uh, this evoke? See, what, what I'm thinking here is this is a little bit brighter, poppier than, than the purple shirt that you've got. So, <laughs> you know, maybe next time you can clean yourself up a maybe little like bit Maybe like a more. Saturday night? Absolutely. A velour, little, <laughs> little texture to it, which we actually have pigments that will allow you to do that as well. Perfect. The previous segment was sponsored in part by BASF. We create chemistry. When we come back, she gives our words flair and has all that red hair. Allie Ward is next with vocabulary. <laughs> 